what is going on welcome back to the channel welcome back um real quick video <clears throat> first of all if you're brand new here i post videos about the matrix i post videos about anything about the matrix anything around that topic it could be something positive which is that's what it is um bringing out truth is positive uplifting inspiring um that's not part of the matrix but that's what you would gain after learning about this information and um yeah positivity anyway um check this out so this is this video is about covid 19 that's that's what i'm that's what i want to talk about in this video um what's crazy is i don't really hear much of people whether it's the mainstream media or just people in general talk about um, in regards of this, you know, virus. If this virus is so deadly, right, it killed over 50,000 people, 50,000 Americans, or just people who live in the U.S. alone. Over 50,000 were wiped out, right? If that were the case, if if that's true, right, if over 50,000 people died from this virus, how come it hasn't wiped out the entire homeless population? Hear me what I'm saying. Like, if if this virus is so deadly the way it is, how come the entire population homelessness has not been wiped out? Now, maybe this not, it doesn't make sense to some people, but let me explain. Um, homeless people don't live in the house, right? They're outside. And this virus is outside. Right now, I'm, I'm supposed to be wearing a mask and gloves because I'm outside. This virus is all around me. So I might, I might get the virus because I'm not wearing a mask, right? But a homeless person is basically, they're homeless. They live outside where the virus, you know, uh, where the virus is. So how come the entire population of, of homelessness not wiped out? You know what I mean? That doesn't make any sense at all. None. So they live outside. And again, the entire population is not wiped out. They can't wash their hands. They don't live in a the house. They just can't walk inside. They, they, right, right now, today, it's impossible to walk inside of... A restaurant or any place of business to go and wash your hands without wearing a mask and they're homeless they're not gonna let them in nine out of ten times they won't let them in so they have no access to washing their hands and they live outside they live outside right um, on top of that it's hard for them to social separate a lot of them are bunched up you know have you, have you seen California? Have you seen this area in, in California called... God, what's the name of this place? Man, it's like this giant homeless population of people. It's in California. It's crazy. I've got the name of this place. Skid Row. Okay? Go on YouTube. Well, you're on YouTube right now. I, I say stop this video. Go search for this area in California called Sig, Skid Row. Some of you already know this. Some of you already know what Skid Row is. But for some of you who don't know, look it up. Go on YouTube and search for it. Look how many people are bunched up in tents on sidewalks. They're all just around each other, right? No social separation. My point again is, how come this has not wiped out the entire homeless population? They sleep, they sleep outside, okay? They can't wash their hands like you, like you and I can. I have access to water and, you know, I, I live... I have my own apartment, right? We live in shelter. These people don't. So how come they're... It doesn't make any sense. So this is why I'm talking about the Matrix. Like, this is why I always tell people to question everything they come across. Whatever I'm telling you, go and do your own research. Whatever I'm saying to you, don't just take it and make that into your reality. You do what? You go and see for yourself. Whoa, it's a giant bug. <laughs> is that a giant bug coming near me? Let me show you what this bug looks like. Look at this bug. It's huge. You see it? 
I'm not sure you can see it. This thing is a freaking monster, man. I'm not sure what kind of bug that was. It scared the hell out of me. But yeah, um, we live in shelters, right? We have access to water. You know, I'm practicing social separation when I'm in the stores. I'm not trying to be around people. Not because I'm scared because I don't want to just get kicked out, you know, because I'm not following the rules. It is what it is. But this is what's going on. So I always tell people to question everything they come across. Listen to what I just said. Homeless people are always outside. They live outside in this airborne disease. You know, it's, it's, it's something that they just don't talk about on the news. And we already know news is controlled by the government. It's controlled by other corporations. It's not really them talking because they did the research and they're independent journalists. No, they're controlled. They read scripts. It's almost like watching, excuse me, soap opera. You know, you got characters. And these characters read a script, right? They're reading something to, you know, um, they're just reading something while they're on TV. It's like watching a sitcom. That's what news is. It's not real. It's something they should never take serious. That's why they don't talk about this, what I just, you know, brought to your, to your attention about this homelessness. People are not being wiped out. The homeless population has not, it's never been covered on the news yet. I've yet to hear anyone talk about the homeless population is being wiped out because this virus they're dying on the streets people are just falling down you hear nothing about this you only hear about a bunch of i don't know who these people are i'm not sure if these people are even real that they're claiming to just be you know tested positive and they die from this virus i know it's a listen this virus may not be a hoax maybe there is a real virus out there but it's not what it's being painted to be how the news talks about it that makes any sense you know they talk about it like it's it's just it's it's airborne disease it's just everywhere you know and like the minute you walk outside you get it some people are scared to walk outside their house some people are so scared to step foot outside their home some people are scared to death to go shopping at a grocery store <laughs> i'm not that person i'm not even wearing the mask i said i'm i'm not scared at all about this virus. I'm not scared whatsoever, nothing. That's why I'm not wearing anything on me. I, 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 I want to breathe the air. It feels so good out here. If you live in South Florida, the weather has been perfect throughout this entire quarantine. For the past, what, two months I think it's been? It's been two months of this situation. The weather has been beautiful. It's nice and cool right now. It's, 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 it's clear sky. Um, the sun is always out. I'm always outside running, jogging. You see my videos on Instagram. I'm always outside running. No mask on my face. No gloves. You know, if I had the opportunity to walk inside of a grocery store without wearing a mask, I'll do it. That's how much, that's, that's enough to show you that I'm not scared of, of, of virus. I'm not scared of any viruses. Viruses are part of life. I don't think a virus could just explode one day and just get the entire world contaminated. Not contaminated, but affected, right? It, it, it doesn't sound logic. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense at all. Something could just have the entire world affected because someone did this. Ridiculous. I'm not buying it. But like I said, this homeless population, you got to question it, man. I'm not accepting it. I'm just not. They all should be gone. All homeless people should be gone. Every last one of them. If this thing is so deadly that the way they're painted this, they're painting it to be on the news. If it's so deadly, every single person who live on the streets should be on the sidewalk laid out. They should be finding bodies everywhere at Skid Row. The entire not that I want it to happen. Please, I'm not asking for this to happen. I hope it does not happen. Right, but this is what should be happening. If this is what they're talking, how they're discussing this, you know, virus to be. We should be seeing all kind of bodies all over the sidewalks. People should just be falling down, just you know, just laid out. They have no access to water. They can't wash their hands like that, like you and I can. They're not social separating. They're not practicing that. They're not. They're just not doing it, and they live outside. I'll say it one more time: the entire homeless population should be wiped out y'all everyone should be gone not that i want it to happen but this is what we're not we're not seeing this because 
it, it only shows you that it's not what it, they're they're claiming it to be. This virus, it's this it's this deadly. What's on my hair? This deadly. It was a bug. <laughs> this deadly um, uh, um virus that's just wiping everyone out. I mean, we already know they can you know mess with the numbers. They can say a million died, and we have to just accept it. I'm not gonna accept it. I already know it's it's it's, it's a hoax. I already know it's a hoax. The numbers are not real. Maybe the virus is real, but it's not wiping out everyone like this. It's not just killing thousands of people like they're claiming it is to be. Some people are just being marked COVID-19 if they break their ankle riding a bicycle. If they fall down riding a bicycle and, and hurt their legs, they're, they're marked as COVID-19. That is that is absurd. That is like, that's a, it's like a slap in the face. It's insulting that we have to accept this information like it's true. Ridiculous. Like I said, Everyone should be gone. The, the entire population homelessness should be gone, y'all. Everybody. We're not seeing this. Question everything you encounter. Whatever I say to you, whatever you hear from me, it's just my opinion. That's all it is. There's no science behind this. I'm not trying to debunk anyone. I'm just saying I'm trying to get you to just start thinking for yourself. Every homeless person should be if you're on this sidewalk, they should be just be laid out, gone. They sleep out here. They sleep on concrete. They sleep on buses. They sleep on benches. They sleep on the most unsanitized area you can think of. Restrooms, you name it. They're there sleeping. And they're, they're, they're fine. They're not dead. <laughs> they're fine. They're doing great. But for some reason... 50,000 people are not doing that good and they're not even homeless. A lot of these people are not even homeless. And if they were, we're not hearing it that they're homeless on, on the news. We're not hearing this. If, if these 50,000 people were the homeless, we're not hearing the homeless population is being hit hard because they're outside with the virus. Look, look at the sky right now. Man. I mean, it's dark. But look how beautiful this is, man. So clear. Look at the moon. Look at this. That's the moon right there. Right there, that's the moon. That's not a, a, a light. What is a light? It's not a street pole or a light pole. What do you want to call those? <laughs> it's not this. That's the moon. Beautiful. Gorgeous weather. I feel good. I feel I'm happy. I'm, 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 I'm celebrating life. I'm celebrating me being able to just walk outside and breathe some good air. I'm celebrating the fact that I'm physically fit. I can walk, run, squat, stretch. We should celebrate this every day that we're healthy people and not take it for granted. We should just take care of our bodies and be happy, not live in fear. This should, this, this should not be us at all. That, that is a low state. That's what I mean by the matrix. The matrix has us believing everyone's, everyone's losing their lives. If that's the case, like I said, the homeless should be hit the hardest. That population should be hit the hardest, should be the first one hit. The first one hit. And they're not. If, if they are, we're not hearing it. Yo, let me go back inside. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. I really hope you guys stay safe out there. Follow me on Instagram. I post about these things all the time. My second channel. I might post this on my second channel. Who knows? Follow me on that channel as well. I'll leave some information down below. Please be safe. See you guys on the next one. Peace out. Thanks for watching.